and it's uh, Sunday afternoon coming up on five o'clock we put in good long day today we are just about to eliminate the old stairway so we just kind of got some temporary railings on it to uh, keep anybody from falling down fridge blocking the other end of it and here is this new stairway we have some railings and ladders and stuff blocking that but there you go the new stairway is in and it feels really nice solid it walks really well has a nice gate to it and we turn here and go down There is the landing at the bottom and the midpoint landing. Here is our connections in there. One of the things that we do to connect stairs, which is kind of a nice little trick, is you can use a regular hanger and just uh, put a cut in the bottom of your stringer where it bolts to the side of the floor above or the house or what have you and it slides right into that notch so that's one way to hang them and then the other way is to just get a good old angle bracket these are what's called L70s and they're just the perfect height for that the stair stringer and there is the framing underneath we've got some uh, three and a half inch split drive uh, concrete fasteners in there uh, I don't know if you can see one in here they kind of hide pretty well but I think there's one right in the center got that going there so yeah the new stairs feel really good and walk really good so we've still got some more work to do up here next week next week being Tuesday we got to work a different finish off another project on Monday tomorrow The new beams are dimensionally larger than the old beams. The old ones are nine and a quarter, the new ones are nine and a half. Four by four post in the middle. And there's what the stair stringers look like from underneath. And over on this side, we have the heavy angle brackets with three and a half inch screws that go into the beam and framing on the sidewall and same here and then it's the uh, 2 by 8 joist hanger notched on this one so those are going good and there is the back side we uh, added another 2 by 10 so we have tripled up 2x10s that are supporting the pin load, point load on that. And we tripled it up over on this side here too, just because we could. There was a piece of support there, so we just decided to take advantage of it. it costs almost nothing but a couple of minutes and a scrap piece of wood. So these are uh, looking really good. Very happy with that. There's the footing there that you can see. The rest of it is already under the carpet. But it worked out really well. We rolled the carpet back up and 
Now we just have to get a carpet iron and glue back tape and stick it back together. Okay, so yeah, this is a good hustle day today. Got a lot done. Folks are coming back from their Hawaiian vacation tomorrow morning. And uh, I'm hoping they're going to enjoy the new stairway. So we have to clean up some of the framing along here yet. There's the temporary railing. Don't want people falling. Okay, so we are done and ready to go. Yeah, so this all becomes, we eliminated the bedroom here. You can see the old wall line right there. And now all of this space becomes one big living room with a fireplace. Much, much better. And then, when the new beams get here, this wall goes. We sister on the new beams, and this opens up into one wide room. There'll be a kitchen island here, where I'm standing. Cabinets along the wall there, sink in the middle of the window. Stove roughly where that is, fridge and then some tall pantry cabinets. The lighting is already up there, ready to go. We need to have spray foam insulation installed in the ceiling. It's a two by six ceiling. So that's the only way that you can really get the R value for that ceiling. is with um, spray foam for this thickness of ceiling. Then uh, it also has to, since it's going to fill the void completely, they want no airflow whatsoever. And foam is the only way that you can achieve that. So, spray foam above the bathroom there. Okay. Hey.